Welcome back to the Poker Go Studio One and All, where it is time for what else but the weigh-in, which means, of course, it's time to introduce these two who will be facing off shortly, Tom Dwan and Phil Helmuth. Phil, you were virtually unbeatable, 7-0, and oh, until you ran into this young man right here who delivered you your first loss. And what did you take away from that L that he hung on your resume? Oh, man. I mean, like... I was flying high, right? Like, I had won, first of all, I won like 26 out of 27 televised cash games. And most times I was the big winner. So I just kept winning, winning, winning. Seven matches in a row. Um, I had a really good World Series of poker, you know, you know, like oh, a second know. and a third. No, I'm talking about 2019 and the last oh, time we okay. played in the real world. So high, high, we did all these SPACs, all these stocks. You know, we launched three different SPACs and floated companies at $5 billion, $4 billion. And so I just felt like this is amazing. And You were on then, the bow of the Titanic. You were the king of the world. Yeah. And then, boom, he smacks me uh, by beating me. And it hurts. You know, you kind of you get knocked down for the first time in a while. Forgot what it felt like. Yeah. I mean, I won $1.5 million playing online poker during the pandemic. And so, more. But, but anyway, so he smacks me. And then my best friend tells me, hey, you've been unbearable the last few months. And I was just like, oh, my God. God. Your best friend says this. My best friend says this. So that was that hurt as much as losing to him. So smacked again. So kind of from flying high, you know what I mean? My ego a lot more in control because of my age. But still, you know. But it was humbling to hear somebody who's not an enemy but oh my your God. closest friend tell you that you're being unbearable because he thought you'd just... You don't know how off? much pain that costs when, you know, you have your primary relationship with your wife, which is the close one. And then you have your secondary relationship with your best friend, which is really tight. And he tells you that, and, and, and it's serious. And so it really hurt, you know? So I think for me, it kind of like, it was like falling on the ground, you know? And luckily for me, the World Series of Poker started a week later, two weeks later. And so now I'm on the ground, right? And then boom, the first 17 days of the World Series of Poker, five final tables. White it's hot. never been done before. White hot. Winning everything, you know? It, and I think that was because I'd been knocked down. And for me, when I'm floating around with the ego up here, I can lose sight of a few things and overvalue who I am. Yeah. And then when you come from this point of being down on the ground, uh, you know. So it sounds like you drew on it as a source of inspiration and it kind of helped you recalibrate a little bit. But switching over to you, Tom, I think and I what saw he's you saying smiling. is I get the credit for his good series. <laughs> <laughs> That was a Helmuthian <laughs> remark, by the way. Uh, now, you could have just watched Phil walk away after that defeat, but instead, here he sits, ready to take you on again for $200,000. Are you at all surprised that he didn't simply just say, okay, I had my run, and all right, I'm going to take my toys Well, no, it home. sounds like now if I win another, he'll have an even better series next year, so... <laughs> so maybe, maybe you should pay you for Don't this. Don't try uh, to give me those reverse incentives, Juan. <laughs> but what was your reaction when you found out that he was coming back to face off with you one more time? Wow. Did you expect him to? Did you think it was a I obvious know. thing? Or? I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't really think it through. You just said, well, whoever's going to take, take me on for 200000 so be it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I was just happy I won the first one. Then they told me, like, oh, we're playing again. OK. As it gets higher, do you get more incentivized? Because I know a lot of the chatter prior to the first match you guys had was, Will Durr actually rise to the occasion for a $100,000 heads-up match, given the nosebleed cash game stakes he finds himself in on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I would have never heard the end of it if, if I had lost, so. From who? This guy? <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking back, by the way, to your heads-up poker championship match, which I think I was a part of when Phil told you, come on, kid, the, you, you know the one. I mean, you had two tens, I think it was, and got lucky and whatever. And fast forward all these years later, is it still kind of a, that was your origin story, like the, the moment, the seminal moment in your relationship, and it, it kind of helps well, draw I mean, the I thread? Well, I think we've or? played together a lot more the last few years and stuff, so it's not, that might have been for a while, but now we've, we've had like more goofy experiences and stuff, and funny games. We yeah. played a game the other day with the Brazilian yeah. guys. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, uh, a Brazilian, Brazilian billionaire came into town, really good friends with Neymar and uh, one of the biggest social media guys, and, and I called The Tom. soccer player. Uh, yeah, n yeah. Neymar wasn't, Neymar, Neymar was not, his, his best friends were there, okay. not Neymar. Okay. Neymar plays a ton of poker as, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, he's one of the biggest soccer people in the world, obviously. But no, I invited Duan, and uh, he came over, and uh, we fun. And then before our last match, uh, Mr. Beast, who's probably the number two social media guy on the planet, oh, I called amazing. Duan uh, to be our third. We played three-handed. So I think Tom and I ha have a really good relationship, and uh, we just bought a, a crypto coin together. And, uh, you know, we don't want to talk about it because I guess we could get in trouble by the SEC or something. But, but, uh, but anyway, so, yeah, we, I, feel, uh, I feel I'll call him for some poker games when I have him at the Ari, and he shows up, and it's been fun. So, Well, sometimes it's not so fun, though, when you guys are playing, and not just you two, but, Phil, I know you have a tendency at times to get into a bit of a rant, and it seems almost as though... Oh, I don't it, mind his rants. I think they're fun. Now, you don't mind them. It almost <laughs> seems to me, though, like it may be strategic for you because it's like a purge of some sort where you get whatever that negative energy is out, and then you come back and, and recenter yourself. Uh, I mean, is it voluntary? Is it involuntary? Does it help There's you? There's no way it's voluntary. Come on. You're a poker player, man. That's not voluntary. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Some quotient of it. I Some mean, part, like, maybe. Some it's part. It's like it's pretty much not voluntary. 95% <laughs> not yeah, voluntary. <laughs> There's occasionally where an hour passes and my energy's a little bit low, and I'm just, then I'm like, then something clicks in where I'm like, Damn it! I got I, I got to act up a little bit. That doesn't happen very often because it's like it's when a coach just... takes a technical foul to get the team rallied up, kind yeah. of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, I, I you know I believe him. Like, was it 100%. a was it a fair analogy or what? <laughs> yeah, no, I just think your read's fishy. Like you you had to that, ask. That I mean, come well, on. I also just want to get the sound bite. Not, again, it's not about what I think. It's about hearing your voices. <laughs> Look, now we got him defensive. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can uh -oh. probably keep him there for uh -oh. a while. You know? Uh oh. Then he'll Tom, talk. If you and I want to take over and make him defensive, <laughs> we can just do no, it. No, then he'll that. talk about your eating, though. So. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, the Achilles heel. Uh, oh, let's talk about God. prep, guys. Um, let's start with you, Tom. Well, let me ask Tom. Whatsoever. Let me ask Tom. Yeah. Tom, did you watch this match? I did. I watched our match. Yeah. Yeah. So that recently. Actually, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. I hadn't watched it before then, but I watched. And it, it was with the intention of taking away certain things that you might do differently coming into this match? Well, the first time was a 100K match. Now it's a 200K match. So it's does that make any difference? It's twice as big. Yeah, but does that mean either of you are going to play differently? No, I'm saying the amount of study, if something was a million bucks or 100K, you would do, you'd be willing to do 10 times the work for a marginal difference. Okay. But also watching him play other people, I didn't think I was going to get much from it. Watching him play me, like maybe I'll get a little something. I don't know. I don't know if I did, but like. What about you? Prep. Yeah, I watched the match. So I didn't watch the match. Like I was too depressed after being smacked down by my bestie. Right. After being smacked down, I went right into the series. So I watched the match about three days ago. Okay. Uh, I split it. I watched half one night, half the next night, and it's a very weird thing with me. My mind makes adjustments. So my subconscious and unconscious mind. I kind of ask my unconscious and subconscious mind, hey. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you come up with something that works? And it's really strange how that kind of, you know, a lifetime of poker and observing every motion that he makes. You know, uh, oh, he was strong, he was weak, I knew it, I should have acted, I didn't know it. So you, all that stuff adds up to create a picture. And then some nights, Ali, when I'm, when I'm restless and I'm having trouble falling asleep, it's because the strategy that I've come up with the match is, is off. And then I'm like, okay, you're not sleeping because the strategy's off. And then I'll spend a half an hour, an hour coming up with a better strategy, and then I'll sleep well. So, you know, it, it, one thing about Tom, he's, you know, a natural born Holden player. And I don't think there's more than like seven or eight natural born Holden players on the planet. And so that means he can play super fast and su super fast and super slow, right? And anywhere in between, right? So I was expecting him in the first match to come and play super fast. These are the guys I usually do well against mm -hmm. because they get chips out there and they don't understand that I see what they're doing. And so that's what I was expecting. He didn't do that. He kind of just played like I did, waited for a few more hands. Neither one of us really pushed the pace. Mm -hmm. and that was a very interesting match. Yeah. And, um, and so I don't know. I mean, now, now what am I going to do? I don't know. I mean, like. Well, you don't have to give up your strategy, but why is it that you're back here thinking, I'm going to be able to beat this guy? What is it that, that lends to that confidence? coming into this match after, as you admitted, the knockout. I don't know time. what's going to happen. I mean, I think if you went back and you looked at every pregame interview I did, I never predicted I'd win any of those times, not in seven in a row or whatever it was, eight in a row. And so I don't know. I mean, there's some mornings I've woken up and just 
you know, and kind of felt like, oh, you got this, you know, for whatever reason. And, uh, but I wouldn't talk about it if that were the case. Right, And right. Uh, And so, I mean, Tom's a great player and uh, anything can happen. I think he and I both recognize, and listen, if we're treading water for six hours, again, you know, waiting for the other person to make a big mistake, treading water, treading water, and all of a sudden we're an hour six or seven and the blinds are huge, there's a lot of luck involved. Later. Sure, there's a lot of luck in this format. I mean, especially against him, I have the end game strategy. I think what I think is an amazing end game strategy. It's allowed me to just to win seven in a row, to do all these things, and but we're not going to give it up and share it with him here. It's just no, know. but it's not. But it's not necessarily. You still need to have break even cards at that point, and he, maybe he has a strategy that's similar to mine anyway. So I, I you know, I mean, like I, I think that we you have two great players, uh, great. Hold'em players it's, playing heads up. It's super interesting to me, Tom, to hear you say there's a lot of luck involved given that, first off, you're characterizing him as one of the great natural-born Hold'em players, and I think a lot of people would say heads up is where you distill it to a sort of format where perhaps luck plays less of a part of it through some lenses observed. I mean, we were like 20 big blinds deep last time. There's, it's, it's really hard to have much edge 20 big blinds deep. But isn't that like where you percent. kind of, isn't, yes, clear, but isn't that where you go, okay, I've done the work for 20 big blind deep poker, and I'm able to say there's a skill associated with that that's going to allow me to prevail more often than my opponents. What does more often mean? That's like saying heads comes up more often than tails because it's 50.02% or whatever. The but hell, is, you is, know, that, like, is that kind of what heads up poker is? Thinking, okay, I have the edge, the heads, me, is going to come up more than the tails because I have, whatever, worked with the solvers more or have, I've researched my opponent more. I have. I mean, you're here because you, you didn't think you're not here because you think you're going to lose. Obviously, you need to to stay, and you can't just bank the money. But you come in with confidence, I presume. Yeah, but if you get to those short, real short blind situations, there's just a lot of variance. Like you can't have that much edge when you're 20, 30 big blinds deep. So perhaps the key is not letting yourself get into those short blind situations. Gee, if you win stack, beforehand, yes. sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, but. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a high variance format. I agree with him 100%. I mean, like we get to 20 big blinds, you know, and someone gets lucky, you know, f you know, I don't know, five out of the next eight, ten hands, 12 hands for that matter, and some of those are big hands. All of a sudden, the other guy's really on his heels, you know, as as good as I am at clawing and surviving, you know, and, and getting back in the match. And then, you know, I got my money in with aces against him. I trapped yeah, him yeah. for the last hand, yeah. and I uh, would have been back. Oh, I forgot match. about that. <laughs> I didn't oh, so you didn't watch it all the way no, back? No, I didn't all watch the, the, the last, end? like, ten minutes or whatever when it was, like, ten, well, five big ones. Did you really watch? <laughs> no, I watched most of it. No, so, I mean, you know, so, I mean, I get down to that spot, and that would have given me 40-some thousand. I would have been back in it, um, especially the way I play. And so there's a give what, and take. I hit the straight or two pair or something? You had the 9-3 offsuit. I limped in, and it came deuce, 3-5. And then we got it all in. I mean, you had no choice. But I knew you had no choice. If you make flop any pair, that's that's why the trap was so good. You flop any pair, you have to go with it, and you might go after it with nine high, no pair. And then I, you know, and so we just got it in. And I don't blame you. And then uh, I do blame you for hitting a freaking nine on the. Trap. <laughs> well, you got it in, and now it is. Even time. then, I thought I was still going to win that hand. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> I need an ace, you, a you, deuce. You got it in, four, and now it's five. time to get it on. Let's not dwell on the past. Let's look out of the windshield and not stare at the rear view. Time for me to shut my trap. Let these two get back into the arena and battle. Stay tuned, because coming up, it is high stakes duel three, round three. Tom Dwan and Phil Helmuth, enjoy. Very serious. <laughs> really didn't want to fold. Uh, he almost called me with King Seven. Remember? Yeah, he would have got you. Yeah. <laughs> ah. If you had somehow won without talking to yourself, then I would have been tilted. I think I'd like to play you heads up forever. Yeah. 
It's a good battle. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. High stakes duel is back. Tom Dwan and Phil Helmut squaring off inside the Bogogo studio for $400,000. Yes, that's what, what's at stake tonight. My name is Remco Rinkema. I am joined by Donnie Peters to give you a one hour free preview on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch of this amazing action between these two heavyweights. Donnie, are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know if I'm excited as you because you're standing, you're about to jump through the ceiling here, but I'm pretty pumped up. I can't sit still. I'm <laughs> too excited. Tom Dwan, high stakes cash game veteran, natural born Hold'em player. According to Phil Helmy. And then of course, the GOAT himself, 16 time World Series Boca Bracelet winner, seven and one in high stakes duel. This guy is, is a veteran of the format and we've only done this show for a year and a half. It's absolutely astonishing how well Mr. Helmy has performed in High Stakes Duel. And there's a look at what's at stake. Of course, Nick Wright was the first player to uh, to lose against Helmy on this round of High Stakes Duel in the 50K each match. Then, of course, Tom Dwan showed up in the 200K match. He defeated Helmy, and now we're back the 400K match. They're sitting down. Cards are getting in the air. Level one, 300, 600 blinds. It's going to be incredible. One hour free oh, preview. Thanks all. Clock for joining us. We're gonna get excited. <laughs> get Let's that brain fuel. Oh, there it is, Sour get Patch Sour Kids. Sour Patch Kids, let's go, Phil. I'm shocked you raised. Cash your tickets if you had Sour Patch Kids. First hand of the deck, 6-5 suited. 10,200. 10, <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dwan's already just, just laughing at him. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> remember when, remember when uh, too, Mr. Helmuth said that Dwan wouldn't be around in five years? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's 15 years ago, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Absolutely incredible. Uh, as you guys know, we are here to provide some fun and exciting entertainment. And we're going to do some giveaways on the stream today. Here's a look at the recap, the action I just mentioned. Helmut, of course, sweeping Esfendiari, sweeping Daniel Negreanu. Then Nick Wright also was knocked out of the studio, and then Dwan defeated Helmut. And now, here we are, 400K match. The winner is going to play the 800K round. No matter what happens, no one's winning any money tonight. We are still going to keep this thing going. Oh, picking action up on the flop here. King High flush draw for Helmut against. Is it going to be over on the first Herman hand? This is action I'm, already. Come I'm, on. I'm standing up. Is it going to be over on the first hand? Donnie, what's happening? I mean, imagine the Ten of Diamonds on the river. Sorry, Let's go. Sure. Just for the fireworks. Prepare Come on. Him. Let's see. Of course, Helmut, the king of small ball, goes check, check. Diamond on the river there. Helmut gets there. I gotta sit down for this. <laughs> I'm I'm all over the place. Five. Five thousand. This is the thing with Helmut's style. He plays small ball, so he never loses a lot, but he also doesn't win the maximum. For those who are missing the top tier professional commentators, Alina Jad and Phil Galfond on the call on Poker Go. The free preview brought you, brought to you by the free guys. Yeah, this Do is the knucklehead hour. The knucklehead hour. Donnie Peters uh, is alongside of me. My name is Rem Karinkama. You are watching High Stakes Duel. Thanks, everyone, so much for joining. We're doing our first giveaway in just a second. Dwan kicks it in, loses the minimum on this hand. Very disciplined fold there by Dwan. This is Donnie. an extremely disciplined fold, but it's probably one of those folds that you make because you're playing against Phil Hamid and you know his this. style of play. Generally on the tighter side, if Phil is willing to bet a river like that, you know, I, I think uh, he's probably got something pretty decent. Absolutely. All right. it it's time for the first giveaway. Somewhere. By the way, have I already I mentioned like and subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube? If you're watching anywhere else, go to YouTube because we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away some PokerGo subscriptions. We're going to give away some quarterlies, some annuals. We're also going to give away a signed photo by Dwan and Helmut in this first hour. Wow, so I'd commit to, to us. Here. That means I can win every hand. I'm trying not to talk over Helmut, but it's going to be tough. I sense you're strong this time. I'll just fold. 
Oh, Helmet. Look at that. Helmet. His, his senses. Helmet gives it up. All right, time for the first giveaway. Smash like and subscribe. This first giveaway, there's no rules. No one really cares. Just let us know in the chat who's going to win. Tom Dwan or Phil Helmet. Sure let us know right now. We're giving away a quarterly free That's sub clean. to Put Poker Go. Line, 90 on. days of free action. You can watch for free for 90 days. That includes, of course, this battle, probably the next round of High Stakes Duel. Poker Go Cup is starting next week. Don't miss that. Lots of big final tables. The return of Daniel Negreanu, by the way, cool. to defend his title. Let us know in the chat. Dwan or Helmut, who's going to win? I'm going to pick a winner at random from the chat. There it is. Chat's lighting up. That means they can hear us, Donnie. It's always good to know that. It's, it's great to know that, that these microphones work. Lots of first-time viewers on Twitch as well. Welcome to the show. The Helmut Third looks time. like he's going to take a stab at this one. The old 10 high. Dwan thinking, what am I going to get value of here in this spot? Makes the call. Chat is going wild. We're picking a winner after this hand for the free 90-day sub. Who are the people saying? I, I'm seeing a lot, of, a lot of Dwan. Yeah. During Stairway to Millions, it was a lot of Helmuth, but it seems like it's a lot of Dwan now. All right, picking our first 90-day sub winner. If your name is called, all you have to do is send a DM... Yeah. Sorry, we'll try to listen in on what these guys are saying as much as we can. I didn't come. I might have had to value about a couple thousand. All right, if you win the giveaway, send a DM to PokerGo on Twitter. We'll credit you with a free 90 days as soon as we can. All right, there it is, spinning the wheel. The first winner is Mod Grinder on YouTube. Mod Grinder on YouTube. He said, Tom, in quotations, reflection Dwan. I'm not sure what that means, but Mod sure. Grinder. You get a free 90 day <laughs> sub to PokerGo. If you are already a subscriber and you win one of our giveaways, we'll send you some free merch. How about that? All right. Check. On the on the river card, we are. The nine wins it for Dwan. Helmet, of course, nothing. He tosses it right away. All right. What are we going to see Helmet eat first? That's he good. hasn't actually eaten the Sour Patch Kids yet, although we know that they're there. Well, let me ask you this. Is this the same bag from th three months ago? The way that he scarfs those things down, <laughs> this has to be like bag number four, right? Oh, incredible. You would think. Incredible. All right, next giveaway, we hit 600 likes on YouTube. How about that? Just Let's let's just get this rolling. 600 likes on YouTube, our next giveaway. We're at almost 400 right now. By the way, everyone, if you're here for the good commentary, you're in the wrong place. Pokego.com, Phil Gelfond and Ali Najad on the call. Expert analysis and insights on the high stakes dual match. And Donnie, we have a promo code as well for the annual sub, right? Yeah, you can use HSD3R3 or you can use dual 33. Either one of those will get you $20 off an annual sub to pokergrow.com. That is where the remainder of this match is going to take place Ooh, after this call, first man. free hour that is taking place right here on YouTube, Checky. also on Twitch, also on Facebook. Two big hands here, King 10 and Queen 10, especially when you're playing heads up. Helmut's building some confidence. Donnie, let me ask you this. How much does Tom Dwan really care about this? Because he always seems so aloof. I mean, I, I think he cares. You know, I, I think he might not care as much as Phil does, but I think he cares. He cares about winning the money, not losing the money. I mean, you know, it's. I think he sees a good opportunity to pick up a huge chunk of money, and that's what Tom Dwan likes to do. Whereas Helmuth on the other side, you know, he's obviously playing for a lot of money as well. Don't get me wrong, but Helmuth has talked a lot about in the past 
um, about his legacy, his reputation, you know, how he's viewed in the world, how he's the best tournament player there ever is, there ever was. Like, and, and he wants to maintain that status. And in order to do that, you have to keep winning. Well, Tom Dwan knocked him off that pedestal last time. So now Phil's got to come back for that revenge. He's got to come and take it back from Dwan here. So it, it's they both care. I think they just care a little bit about different things. How about that? Yeah, that's a good point. Clearly, Dwan wouldn't be here if he didn't care. I'll he, tell you what Dwan doesn't care about. It's putting the big chips in front because he has the big chips, time, which are those blue 5Ks, are, are in the back. Right to level 10. Uh, Tim sends uh, five bucks to us what on you YouTube. Appreciate it. He says, come Let's on, see. the GOAT is going to win hashtag 16. Donnie and I are both on Team Helmut. I mean, we've said this level 10? during the Stairway to Millions commentary. We'll see. Is that the answer? <laughs> You want to reveal anything? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, <laughs> well, the revenge know factor, he gets back on top. You think Dwan well, will challenge I mean, again like, if that happens, so let's go. We're relatively close in chips by level oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cool you. For those trying out the promo code, Donnie, only for the annual sub, right? Correct. An annual sub. $20 off an annual Seven. sub. That'll get you pokergo.com for a full year for less than seven dollars a month that's a pretty big uh pretty big deal considering everything that we have not only do we have high stakes duel as you mentioned earlier we got the poker Girl cup coming up um <laughs> we have uspo is going to be on the calendar at some point obviously world series of poker live coverage that's our bread and butter that's the best <laughs> thing out there you know you, you, i mean it's worth it for that alone right absolutely that is definitely true. All right, tail of the tape here. Helmuth, 57 years old. Dwan, only 35. Madison, Wisconsin versus Edison, New Jersey. And Tom now lives in Vegas while Helmuth, of course, is where the big money's at in Palo Alto. Gotta two, get them specs. Two kids versus zero. That that must be that must be some help for Dwan, you know, not, not having those responsibilities at home. Instead of trying for 80% of my chips, maybe you should have put a height and weight up there, too. Reach, you know, we need the reach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speed, how fast they throw chips in. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be great. Um, when we hit 600 likes on YouTube, we're giving away another free 90 days of PokerGo action. We're closing in on it fast. So smash like on YouTube and subscribe to our channel, by the way. New videos every day on our YouTube channel. New videos every day. So if you've missed any of Very our exciting close. action I from the past. Come back, level 10, turn off your television. Just, you know, sit back, wait about four hours. No, no, Phil, we don't <laughs> want people no, to leave watching. I'm going to set over set you. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Helmuth is already sort He's of feeling good. Yeah, he's like, feeling he, great. You, you can, can tell. Really he fast. feels good. <laughs> and it's going to go one way or the other a lot quicker, right? All right, we hit 600 likes. All right, next question here. You Donnie, you got, something, you got something good for him? Yeah, really what's fast. Phil Helmuth going to eat? Gonna go oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we we go. got the bag. What's, the bag. what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What is this? A burger? It looks like a sandwich of some kind. And you get like the four or five suited. That, <laughs> what is it looks like, like he already had some or whatever that is. Hand. Is this from yesterday? Oh, there we go. Oh. Get right in there. Please chase it with a Sour Patch Kid. Please like add it at the end. All right, let us know in the chat. What is Phil Helmuth eating right now? We couldn't get a good view of it. G get it, give us your guesses. We'll give you two hands worth, and then we'll give away a free 90 days of PokerGo action. Free 90 days up for grabs. Let us know. What is Phil Hummy eating? Was it a burger? Was it some kind of burrito? Hard to tell. All right. Queen 6 versus Queen 8. This could be trouble. Interesting turn card here. Giving Dwan the straight with the flush draw helmet gets a pair of eights oh we're getting lots of guesses in the chat i appreciate it from everyone keep this going free 90 days up for grabs for poker Girl. 10 of hearts wow donnie look at that that's pretty sexy straight flush for tom Dwan. pretty sexy i hope he shows it no matter what happens I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess he Tom Dwan is not the guy no, to show his hands. Definitely not. He would not care. Oh, lots of guesses on the sandwich. It makes me hungry actually. Here comes Dwan with the bet, forty-two hundred. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, I was oh. I was hoping that was go, tricky. That was that optical was, illusion right there. Almost, Thought he was grabbing the Sour Patch oh, Kids. I I said it earlier today. He's gonna chase the burger with the Sour Patch Kid. If that wasn't the burger, we might never know. All right, that please, Duan, show it. Show the six. Nope. He does it. I almost called you with an eight. Oh, damn it. He didn't even eight. show it. An eight. There's yeah. a lot of cards that beat an eight out there. I know. I would have been ambitious. I think ambitious? Helmut needs a food Absolutely. sponsor. <laughs> you know, he had that Carl's Jr. sponsorship a yeah. while, while ago. He needs like, some sort of thing like that. Look, look oh, there we it? go. Is it a burger? It looks like a burger. <laughs> eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, a little lick of the finger. I mean, it's the Poker Go Studio. It's at Aria. It's likely... Posh Burger, which is right inside, right next to the poker uh, poker room. Oh, that's what I'm guessing it is. Absolutely stunning close up there. All right, it's time for me to do the giveaway. Randomly looking at the submissions here Freaking to pick someone eight. who gets a free uh, 90 days of Poker Go action. Give me a sec it's here. Too hard to imagine a combination I could beat. You know, like King Five offsuit. You know what I mean? And then why would you bet with King Five? Fives have a chance. I would have bet King 5, but I didn't have King 5. I got a winner. You would have bet it. Who you got? King 5? Yeah, how do you not? It's like the worst hand you can show up with. Yeah, but it beats. Yeah, it's true. It's hard it to talk when these guys are talking all the time. I'm surprised how chatty they are. Yeah. Uh, the winner is Scott Richardson. He said burrito for sure. We might, It might not be a burrito, but you've won the giveaway. Scott Richardson, if you're on YouTube right now, send us a DM on Twitter, twitter.com slash PokerGo. We will credit you with a free 90 days of PokerGo action as soon as the hour wraps up here. Scott Richardson, congrats. Next giveaway at 1,000 likes. We are at 691. If we hit 1,000 likes on the stream, we're going to do another giveaway for 90 days of free PokerGo action. Please like and subscribe to our channel. That's all we ask for here during the free giveaway. King 8 versus King 10 here. Let's see if this goes anywhere. Any early takeaways from the action, Donnie? Are you, are you noticing anything different compared to the last time these guys played? Uh, I feel like they're a little bit more chatty with one another, you know, a little bit more friendly. Um, and, I mean, they're obviously very familiar with one another. Um, and, you know, they're playing pretty fast. You know, not too much wasting our time here, stuff like that. Um, but overall, it's just, I mean, it's early. You know, they're pretty deep. So they're just feeling each other out. I don't think we're really going to see any fireworks, especially given how we know that, that Phil Helmy plays generally pretty snug. I mean, unless he gets crazy or something like that, but I just don't see that happening early on, true, given true, the fact true. that he's coming off a loss and he really wants to win this time to get back on top. It's 15. Nothing for Dwan here. They're not low, to be exact. But he's got position. For Bill Laughlin Jr. and all the people in the back of the room, Donnie, can we can we get one more shout with the uh, promo code is for the annual subscription? It's H S D three R three, and that'll get you twenty dollars off. PokerGo.com annual subscription. That'll break down to less than seven dollars a month, guys. Get on over there to PokerGo.com and sign up. I started drinking the brain fuel during the is. tournaments of the series. Every day two, every day three. And I had an amazing series. Cash Seven them points. checks, Phil. Let's go. You thought we were promoting stuff? Yeah, seriously. Look, he, really he, even, me a lot. he even turned the, the logo <laughs> on the bottle. Don't drink this, this is great. Me. He's a professional. <laughs> Just one. <clears throat> Sour wow. Patch Kids, please. I wasn't expecting the out position attack. Savage. Look at this. I love it. What a specimen. For the people who are not ready to commit to an annual sub, we have different subscription options, so check on pokego.com. You might find something that better suits you at this moment. What, what do we have? Weekly, quarterly, and annual? No, we don't have weekly. No? At least not yet. Oh, sorry, monthly. Monthly yes. and quarterly. Quarterly is yeah, three months, <laughs> and, and monthly is obviously monthly. Um, so, yeah, you can hop on over there. You can you know pick out your fancy, whatever you like. But that promo code, HSD3R3, does get you $20 off 
the annual subscription, and that's only the annual subscription. You can't apply that promo code to the monthly or the quarterly. But you can possibly win some quarterlies here if you hang out and help us out in this YouTube. Check. Smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. Remco loves to give stuff away. I know, we're shills. Burn through the money. Oh yeah, giving it all away. Everything. Matt Johnson says, please shut up. Well, we're, we, we, we were asked to talk into these microphones, so it's not gonna 18. happen. Just a reminder for the real hardcore fans out here. Go to Pokego.com right now, and you get Phil Galfon and Ali Nijad providing professional commentary. Can you believe that? Professional commentary. Riney62 says, Helmuth, Helmuth can dodge bullets, baby. Let us know in the chat, what, what's the best Helmuth quote? I think that one's way up there. Check. And he, he can't even spell poker is also one of my favorites. Ace high the winner here. King high. King would have been nice. Queen would have been nice. So a nice bet would have been nice. Should have just fired out. Probably would have done. Oh, look at that beautiful belt. Here we go, guys. You can sign up. This promo code, HSP Duel. That is because the new season of high stakes poker is coming up in February. 200, 400, 500, 1,000. Doyle Brunson's going to be there. Daniel Negroni's going to be there. Phil Ivey's going to be there. Those three were pictured right there in that promo. Also, Patrick Antonius. Also, Tom Dwan. No, I meant just an absolutely legendary show that's coming up. Not many if I did. Eight. Weak flush draw here for Helmuth. Dwan with the pair. Obviously, any pair in heads up play is strong. So the turn we go. Helmuth makes his flush while hitting the queen in the process. Action goes check, check. Ooh, a little fumble there. Deuce of spades. Let's see if Helmuth takes another small stab in the way we've been accustomed to. Juan kicks it in. The structure, of course, of high stakes duel is extremely slow, so this really suits Phil Helmuth and the way that he plays. He likes to play small ball poker. He won't admit it, but he probably copied it from Daniel Legrana. And I must say, it's been impressive to watch Helmuth play over the course of the last year and a half in this format. Of course, completely wrecking Esfandiari. Haven't seen him since. He's still in <laughs> hiding. Antonio, he, where are you? Come out. <laughs> he pushed Negrano to the brink, who was losing his mind on stream. And now he's trying to wreck Tom Vaughn. Of course, stack's still pretty even here. We're in the first hour of the match. Check. We all know this is a big grind, and we appreciate everyone tuning in. Check. A five for each player here. Mm -hmm. Jack on the board makes it a little more likely this thing might go to showdown. The value of the five might go up a little bit. Just a reminder, if we hit 1,000 likes on the video, we're going to give away a free 90-day sub. Fives with an ace. That's good. That's not good. Good for Dwan. Oh, sorry. It looks like a genius on every other card. I thought you were referencing when he said Find fives with an ace. I watched oh, the other yeah. match. Dwan showed the nine and <coughs> took it down. Closing, it. Closing in on a thousand likes, only 200 to go on YouTube. Smash it. Let's do it. If you're just tuning in, we're doing a one hour free preview. The action will continue on ah, Pokemon Go. That trap went awry. <laughs> Ooh, two big hands here A7 for Helmy, Queen Jack Sudas for Dwan. Let's try again. Maybe we can get him this time. Was it a limp race call here? Helmet on the button. Sure. That went very quick, the action, before the flop. Jack here for Dwan checks it to Helmuth. Sure. 
seems more likely that Helmuth raised and one called before the flop. Kavan is asking if we're live. Yes, we are. Live from the PokerGo studio. Ace. Kavan takes the lead. Do you think we'll see a blow up in this first hour? I mean, it, like, whenever Dwan starts winning a few pots in a row, let's call it three, how much is going to work? He's off. going for it, but. but it's, it's already Star started. He's starting, it's you know. It's, it's, yeah, the, the water's heating up. <laughs> he cleaned out the brain fuel, now he's onto water. Meanwhile, Dwan hasn't eaten or drank anything. It looked like there was a box of pop tarts that was down underneath his thing Check. when they oh. showed that side shot. Wow. Oh, I think we're I think we're about to hit a thousand likes on YouTube, so it's time for the next giveaway. Daniel said on Facebook, do the commentators read the comments? All of them. And they hurt Check. personally to the bone. Check. Every time you guys say something mean. And we are live, correct. Giveaway coming up in a few likes. The professional commentators are on Poker Go, Gelfond and Ali Najad, so hop on over right there to check that out. For now, you're stuck with us until the top of the hour. Phil just firing in the bet. <laughs> but it's so small, right? 700 here. A little, little bit of a blocker. Do you think Dwan ever considers raising after making this sort of posture? Or do you think this is like the look of like, is my king high good here? Can I call? The latter. I, I just that posture just looked like you know. And now you know, looking at his cards, like, yeah, see it. Yeah, tossing them into the muck. That would have been fun if you raised the river. See, there you go. I would have oh. snapped it, and you would have said, "Wow." <laughs> it's so it easy like to say that. I know. It's me. it's so it it easy for me because my hand was very weak. But but like imagine pocket deuces or something. Oh, hey, we're we still getting snap called though. <laughs> we just hit a thousand likes. Boom. I love it. I appreciate it and I respect it. Time for the giveaway. Let us know in the chat. What is your favorite casino in Vegas? Oh, I love it. What is your favorite casino in Las Vegas? What's yours? Aria. Straight. I mean, that's the company line, right? Because we're at the Aria. It's the best. What was the I'm partial to the Mirage. Oh. Which they are now going to tear down. Yeah. Because it's, it's going to be the Seminole Hard Rock and a giant guitar <laughs> in the middle of the strip. I thought you might raise me if I bet the turn. But that'll be cool. Let us know in the chat what is your favorite Vegas casino, and we'll give away a free 90-day sub to Poker Go. Ooh, little instant replay here. Dwan with the face. He's making the face. The one, the one thing about Dwan though, no matter how much he gets down on chips, it'll never affect him. With Helmuth, he loses a few hands in a row. <laughs> he'll start steaming. Yeah, he could, he could lose 2,000 chips, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna freak out. It's great. You know which casino I have the worst memories of? The Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah. Well, me, me and my buddy Frank stayed there, and we got robbed. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. what so, are you going to do? But so the Monte Carlo was fun, like, in the poker room. Yes. I love that the That small poker room. poker room had, like, six tables in it. Yeah. No longer called the Monte Carlo. So many submissions coming in for favorite yeah, casino. There's, there's a ton of Aria in there. Aria's People dominating. Aria. I mean, listen, Aria's an incredible property. Call. Incredible. And Phil Helmy just Check. repping it in a, on his shirt. I still don't know if that's a if it's a custom helmet shirt or if you can buy it in the no, shop. No, you can buy it in the shop. Oh, you can? Yeah. If you go over by the like the North Valet, um, there's a shop there that does sell. I believe they also sell Phil Helmuth hats. They they used to at least. They used really? to have like the hats that he wore, yeah. Damn. The Aria ones, not not the Bitcoin ones that are Bitcoin Latinum that he's wearing now, but yeah. <laughs> Best hand hit for Dwan, top hair with the flush draw against the King Deuce of Helmuth. 
72 into 92 for Dwan here. Sizable bet. Helmi does not go for it, kicks it in. I think you can also buy that tracksuit that Helmi's wearing. The, and then next door, the, <laughs> the sweatshirt on the back of uh, Dwan's chair, Maceo, that's where Maceo is. So does, 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 do the, the track pants come with a hole in them? That's a good question. Actually, I don't think that those track pants matched. You know, when I saw Phil Helmuth walk in today, he, 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 I think he did buy the whole suit, but oh. I think he wore like two pieces this time. Oh my God. A little bit different, switching it up. Maybe because last time he lost, it was bad mojo. Maybe that's why. I don't know. <laughs> uh, lots of submissions coming in. I'm going to pick a winner right after this hand. We got tens for Helmuth. They're red. They're pretty. Up oh, against here we the go. King four. Oh, wow. Flush draw for Dwan. This could be the biggest pot of the match so far. Helmut continues betting 600. Small bet, of course, the blinds are still low. Dwan, Dwan will be going nowhere. Yeah, on nowhere, fast. Check raise, Donnie. Love it. How Love to see it. How do you like that? Check raises are allowed on high stakes duel. Giveaway coming. The giveaway oh. is being determined, decided, whatever you want to say, after this hand. So you can still submit. Going to a turn here. Wow, Helmy's adding a adding a straight draw. I wonder how much Dwan is going to continue for on the semi bluff. Of course, a ten would give Dwan a straight. Twenty three percent equity, according to the calculators. I would not know such a thing. Call. Fifty two and the snap call in true Helmy fashion. Verbally. Verbally, yeah. There it is, the river card. Oh, and it is the club. Ladies and gentlemen. Dwan this might, makes his flush. This might get ugly. Ten's still looking strong, even though there's two overcards. But we are playing heads up. I mean, come on. Everybody better just stand up and, <laughs> and get ready for Helmy to implode. Whatever's going to happen, we're going to hear something. Whether he calls or folds... We're going to see some reaction here. I mean, I think he's calling just given the fact that he called the turn so quickly. He, he seems like he's kind of got his mind made up. Dwan goes for right about half pot let's on the river. Let's listen in on Helmuth. He must say something right now. He has to. Those are time extensions for everyone out there wondering. 30 seconds each. Oh, he tosses them in the muck. Fuck me. Wow. <laughs> he hit a fucking nine. I trapped him again. He got that. The first F-bomb after 33 minutes. By the way, Thrive Fantasy Daily Fantasy Sports. Thrive Fantasy has partnered with PokeGo to provide daily fantasy player prop contests for you to win exclusive prizes. Choose who you think will go over or under their projected stats, enjoy the games, and watch your picks update in real time. Thrive has over $50,000 in prizes each week for the NFL playoffs. Download the app or sign up on thrivefantasy.com and enter promo code PokerGo for a $250 instant first deposit match. Come and prop up today. If you had the first F bomb under 40 minutes. I mean, look, look, look at look at Phil's demeanor right now as as he three bets with the seven deuce. I mean, he he clearly looks a little bit frustrated, angry, more focused. Obviously, not very happy. He had to let go of those two tens in the last hand. But he correctly did so because Dwan did have him beat on the river. I have a winner, Donnie. Let's go. Free 90-day PokerGo sub for Lehel Conch. K-O-N-C-Z. Lehel Conch. He said, Bellagio, Lehel, you're getting a free 90-day PokerGo sub. Send us a DM on Twitter.com slash PokerGo, and we will credit you after this hour with the free sub. It's a quarterly sub, 90 days. Mongo Bean on Twitch is asking, how old is Durr? Isn't he mid-30s? He is exactly mid-30s, and I think he aged beautifully. He looks fit and healthy. Some gray hairs coming in. I'm the same age as Tom Dwan, and I look the same. Gray hairs are coming in. The only difference is I don't shave. Dwan does not want to give this up right now. But there it goes. 
Show it, Phil. Come on. Playing the seven deuce game, right? There should be a seven deuce game in this format. Okay. All right. Next 90 day sub giveaway at 1,500 likes. Just putting it out there. I raise all 13 more. All in? I have aces. Oh. A little. A wheel throw. draw, the over pair. Oh, oh. Wally. What he has now is real problems. The river is the six of clubs, and Tom Dwan is your new high stakes dual yeah. champion. Yeah. Good battle. <laughs> yeah. True is the last one. I like how Dwan just kind of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs>, <laughs> a, little, yeah. uh -huh. a little look back at the most recent match with uh, professional commentators Nick Schulman and Ali Najat on the call. Head on over to Pokego.com right now as Phil Galifant is on the call. Little uh, information here on Mr. Tom Dwan, of course, high stakes cash game blow no known as Durr, a regular in the nosebleeds. Nothing new here for you guys at home, as you guys are all super fans. Routinely tortures Phil Helmuth in televised cash games. That's true, and even in tournaments. That NBC heads up match, of course. That's what started it all, the whole she'll, rivalry. She'll never be forgotten. That's when he cracked Helmuth's aces, and you guys just saw the highlight of him cracking Helmuth's aces once again to knock him off the high stakes dual pedestal. Tom Don just has his number. Luke A says, can you guys do an Adderall giveaway? No, sorry, I ate all of it. It's gone. Joseph is saying, why can't Juan play like he did 10 years ago? Still has nothing to lose. Well, he doesn't have kids, so that's, that's probably correct. And if you have just a nine, I, I th it's so funny because you, you want to save your time banks. So I saw myself using the whole 60 seconds and deciding to fold anyway. So, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I wanted to use a time bank so badly, but I thought it would be wasted. I just wasted one. A little extra nugget, by the way. At the end of this hour, we're giving away a signed photo by both Tom Juan and Phil Helmuth. A signed photograph by both Tom Juan and Phil Helmuth. What is this? Where's the flop going? It's running away. Maybe Phil requested that he needs to see it better. You know, sometimes players do that. I just want to say that I'm a huge fan of this table design. Yes. First time I saw it, I was like, wow, that's cool. It's different, it's unique, it fits the, the format that they're playing, it's, it's really awesome. I agree. It looks amazing. High Stakes Duel, definitely my favorite show. Uh, the Great Danton on Twitch says that this cannot be live because we're not paying attention to the game. Well, it is live, but the actual professionals are on PokerGo.com. Phil Galfond and Ali Najat on the call. Donnie and I are just here to get you guys excited and to give away some free prizes and just to have some fun with it. Because why not have just a little bit of fun? You know, well, you guys are all way too tense. You guys are way too tense. Just chill. By the way, if you're trying to hack into our free 90 days, it's not possible. We require a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account. That's because, of course, we are. Not the Remco locks it down. <laughs> We're not stupid. Come on. Come on. I do appreciate everyone tuning in. Ace four here, almost aces for Helmuth, coming in with the raise. Helmuth so far slightly down in chips against Dwan, but still very early goings here. Round three of high stakes duel three, 400k match. In case you're just tuning in, Mark from NC said, "Who is Donnie?" Yeah, who, who are you? <laughs> That's a good question. Who gave you? Th who I wonder every day. <laughs> do you have? How do you have access to this building? <laughs> I don't know. They let me in. Security guard was off today. Donnie Peters and I go way back in the world of poker. Have been working together since 2008 or nine, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's all blurry when yeah. you look back. It's true. Donnie, Big Foo Mike is asking, how much is a membership to PokerGo? Give him, give him the lowdown. Depends what subscription you want to go with. We have monthly, quarterly, and annual subscription plans available. If you want to pick up the annual subscription plan and you use the code, the promo code HSD3R3, you'll get $20 off. It'll break down to less than $7 a month. If you want to pick up just a monthly subscription, it's $14.99 a month. 
get on in there. Get on PokerGo.com. Once this free preview is over at the end of the hour, you got to head on over there to watch this anyway. So let's go. Mark from NC said, sorry, Donnie. That's right. <laughs> Who is Mark from NC? Is that Mark from North Carolina? Check. Sounds like it. I went to school in North Carolina. Elon. Maybe, maybe we know each other. Shout out to Elon. Shout out Elon. Shout out Phoenix. Phoenix, let's go. Nines. I never went to Good school. Check. It shows. Shout out to that. <laughs> I don't even speak English that's properly. Why, that's why you're at the B team with me. Exactly. Uh, but all joking aside, Donnie and I have been working with Poker Go for quite some time. I am the one in charge of all the videos on YouTube and Facebook. So, JC said David that. Peters is way cooler. I don't know if I would agree with cooler. Certainly richer. Richer, yeah. But cooler, I mean, listen, I'm pretty cool. Yeah, you're, you're okay. I'm all right. Yeah. I do all right. 26.1 million in career tournament earnings by Helmut. Still adding millions to that every year. He continues to amaze me at the World Series of Poker. This past WSOP, which is all available on Poker Go, um, it was just incredible to watch him battle it out time and time again. Of course, getting that bracelet in the deuce and then getting heads up again in the dealer's choice and then getting close again in the 25k PLO high roller. Just incredible performance by Helmut again at the WSOP. We heard him talk about it in the way in, you know, those first 15 or 17 days or whatever it was. I mean, it was incredible, like something we've never seen before. I mean, it has been something we've never seen before because it was historic. He was at a final table every other day. Yeah, it was incredible. Uh, lots of quick hands we've seen over the last few minutes. Juan still with a slight lead. I'm with here with the winner, Three. just a pair of threes. Overbet here from Duan, 4,700 into 2,600. Excuse me, a raise after a bet from 1,000. I keep getting called out in this chat, man. Now they're saying I haven't seen David Peters in the club. I have seen David Peters in the club. Berlin. Okay, and I was in the club way before David Peters ever went to the club. Okay, Facts. Remco and I. Yeah. That's we true. used to shut the clubs down. <laughs> that's also true. Helmut lays it down. Little sneaky raise here from Dwan, who extends his chip lead. We might see some more chirping here from Helmuth. He tosses the button with a bit more <laughs> vigor this time. Imagine if he threw it at Dwan. Oh, that'd be amazing. That, that's something Jungle Man would do, probably. Um, 1,500 likes for another free 90-day giveaway, or free 90-day Poker Go sub giveaway. I'll say that if we hit 2,000 likes, I'll do, a, I'll do a free annual. Let's go. 2,000 likes. And then just one more thing before I shut off this club nonsense. Yes. You know you spent too much money at the club when, like, 10 years after I've ever been to the club, I still get texts on my birthday <laughs> from the old club hosts asking me if I want to come back out and celebrate. From Joe Liano? Yeah, he's one of them. There's a few others. Like, it's just like, come on, guys. I haven't been at the club in forever. I'm married now. got a kid. Like, yeah, I'm mature. I haven't been to the club in so long. <laughs> Probably for the better. You guys, if, do you guys like clubbing in the chat? Let us know. Are you guys the club in kind? If I finally have a night off, I'll just go to South Point and play 1-2. That's a different type of club. Exactly. That's my kind of club. Uh, 1,500 likes for the 90-day free sub. 2,000 likes for the annual. Just putting that out there. And we still have a signed photo to give away. Signed by both Phil Helmuth and Tom Dwan. Straight draw here for Helmuth. Equities run close. Queen high in the lead. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. New clips being released every single day. Highlights, live feeds, throwbacks to the old WSOP and high stakes poker content. We have it all. Juan, still got those big chips in the back, man. He's just... That looks like a fold for me, for Helmuth. No one, no one who looks at their cards this way has ever continued. What, what, what's the stare at the at the camera, <laughs> Phil? Breaking the fourth wall? What's going on? He does get a little smirk back on his face, though. So I think he's kind of over the little, I guess, fit you would call it that he was Ooh. throwing earlier. Jesus, I had a big hand. <laughs> <laughs> Five high. Scott Graham says, you know you're old when the music is too loud in the club. And there are the aces, by the way. Red aces for Tom Twan. Let's see where this goes. 
just, I, I mean, who gives up the queen seven and heads up? The like, it's just... The computer hand, come on. You can't fold that. White magic is working tonight. 1,300 likes, 200 away. The people who have won the giveaways, yes, we're crediting you with the sub right after this hour ends. Just make sure you get send that DM over send to the PokerGo account on Twitter. Remco will get you set up from there. How many with the Queen Jack here up against the King Four for Duan? Top pair for Mr. Duan. Checks it over to Phil. Quick bet of 1,000. Just a little flick of the wrist gets it in there. Duan's not going anywhere. Seven on the river is going to lock this one up for Duan as long as he doesn't fold the hand. Ooh, guitars. I like this. This means I have to pay attention. All right, there it is. Round two stats, number of hands. 298. Can you imagine playing heads up with your buddy for 300 hands? That's insane. Five lead changes, seven all ins, no calls. One all in call showdown, no elimination. There it is. Dwan's low point was 74,500. Of course, the stacks have doubled coming into this round, so we are playing a bit deeper here in round three, the $400,000 match. Those guitars got me standing up again. I was I was Brilliant. starting to sort of relax. <laughs> JC, that uh, that noise you hear, that sounds like a railroad is what you call it. That is the automatic shuffler <laughs> that is next to the table. Try, trying to keep things easy for the dealer here so we can keep this game moving. A four for each player here. The smallest pair, but still a pair. Heads up a pair, man. I mean, that's like the nuts. Help me with the improved posture on this hand. You gonna chop this one up? Four. There it is. The one with the old show one first, show the other second. What what I love doing when I'm bluffing, to just turn, turn it over right, right away when I get called. And don't say anything because then they just they think you're so powerful, so strong that you're just like, oh, I have to be beat, right? And then you just have nothing. Uh, closing in on 1,500 likes for the free 90-day PokerGo sub giveaway. Just a reminder: 2,000 likes. We're going to do an annual sub. And we're st we still got that signed photo to give away. So please keep liking and subscribing. Uh, do also appreciate, by the way, all the people that are new to the YouTube channel and that's, that are subscribing. If you are sick and tired of us, which I can understand for sure, uh, go to pokeco.com right now. Tune in as Phil Galfond, yes, the legend himself, is doing the commentary with Mr. Ali Najad. King high, queen high, another standard situation here, heads up play. Duan, of course, the, m the more aggressive player, takes more stabs. We're still playing small ball, the blinds aren't that big. But he's managed to grind out a small little lead here. Oh, the guitars are back, and drums this time. There's the belt. Donnie! The apparel. We got some cool stuff in the shop. That's right, Poker Go Shop. You guys can get the best poker apparel and more. We also have some collectible items, some memorabilia, signed photos. Uh, we're going to be putting up some signed, some more signed photos, uh, some felts. We have actual felts that people have played with that are signed, signed decks of cards. Shop.pokergo.com. Head on over there. Twenty two hundred. Go shopping, guys. Let's read. go. I didn't look yet. <laughs> I was either going to make a 12,000 or call. I hadn't decided. Didn't want to give you that option. It is actually pretty sick that we are able to get Your some of the felts from, from our shows, button. like High Stakes Poker, Poker After Dark, the World Series of Poker, and get them signed mm. by players, and then offer them up for you guys at home. 
I mean, I, I know it's a promo, but it's also just I'm, I'm also a poker fan myself. And when I finally have money to buy a house that can fit a poker table, <laughs> I will buy one of the felts. I'll just pay full price. I don't care. The whistle? Duan also a professional whistler. What is this? What does the whistle mean? Is that a tell? Maybe they're starting a band. I don't know. Wow. I, I, the Tom Duan whistle had to be plus 2,500. <laughs> jack A, Jack 6. This could be trouble. We've seen a lot of them sharing one card with, with we'll each other. Works. Jaffa Jaffa says, Dur, first sip of water. Yeah, 51 minutes without a sip of water. It's a long time. Three thousand. Probably well hydrated. <laughs> Joe Duff on YouTube says, Duan looks older than 15 years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, I know, right? People age. That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, almost at the 1,500 like mark. Doesn't look like we're going to hit the 2,000 mark for the free annual sub, but at least we're going to do another 90-day sub because that 1,500 likes seems like a shoe-in at this point. Uh, JC is asking on Facebook, that's pretty sweet, how big of a felt. Well, we have felts from all our shows. Do we have all the felts in the shop, or do we have select ones? Not all of them are in the shop. There are select ones in the shop, um, but more will be added as we go. You know, we just take, take some time to get them added. If you have a special request for a specific felt, DM us on BokerGo on Twitter, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, no promises, but we will see what we can do. I have to go to the warehouse anyway. We have a warehouse? We have a giant warehouse. Wow. It's it's full of felts. I mean, they stick us in this weird small room that, that I, I forget that we're like an actual company sometimes. Oh, man. Interesting board here. Two pair for Helmuth against what was top pair on the flop for Dewan. Now second pair on the turn. Winners are selected at random. For people wondering about the honesty of our giveaways. We have 1,500 likes after this hand. We'll start the next giveaway. Closing in on the end of the hour, though, you guys better get your PokerGo subs ready to keep on watching. Duan check calls 2,500 from Helmuth. We're going to see a river. And Helmuth fills up. Second full house we've seen so far. Forty-seven hundred. This is a big spot, the biggest spot of the night so far. Tough decision here for Dwan. Does not look happy. That, to me, looks like a fold. That's what he's been doing when he's been folding. There and it is. There we go. Top air in the muck. Good fold by Dwan. Wow. Even though this pot goes to Helmut, so far I'm giving the edge to Dwan. Um, next giveaway, and Donnie is, is the... Um, oh, by the way, there's music again, which means I have to say something important. <laughs> Rules of the duel. Heads up, no limit hold'em. Blinds will go up every 30 minutes. The winner stays. The loser has the first option to challenge. If the loser declines, the challenger's seat is open for 30 days. Cash out rules depends on rounds one. Yes, we'll get to more of that later in the show. But Donnie, this ties in perfectly to our giveaway. I want to see a high stakes dual match between these two players that I've written down. And Donnie, you have the evidence here. Two non-Americans playing on high stakes duel head to head. Who am I thinking of? Let us know in the chat. The first one that gets it right on YouTube will get the free 90 day Poker goes sub. I love it. Two foreigners. Donnie is my witness. I've written, the, I've written down the names of the two players. I'm looking at the chat. Donnie, commentary is on you. I'm going to look at the chat until someone gets it right. Two foreigners. Heads up on high stakes duel. I would well, love to see a high stakes duel between those two people, by the way. My dream match. <laughs> Let us know in the chat right now. Helmuth coming in with another pretty big three bit. We saw him do that earlier with the seven deuce. Now he's doing it with the six three. Getting oh. frisky. We're getting lots of guesses in. The first one was Fader Holtz versus Michael Adamo. That would Good have been guess. Great. That would have been great. Oh, it's going fast now. Elki versus Antonius. That's a great idea, too. 
so many guesses. I just want to make sure that I don't miss it if someone says it. Cool. There it is. We already got it. We got a winner. Eric Barlow. Gus Hansen versus Patrick Antonius. Gus Hansen versus Patrick Antonius. That is my dream matchup for High Stakes Duel. Eric Barlow, you are the winner. You were first. Oh, did we get another one? Yeah, uh, Phantom Green was actually first, it looks like. Okay, we'll do two then. We'll give two 90-day subs away. Phantom Green gets one as well. I'm not, I'm not stingy. Phantom Green and Eric Barlow. They were within seconds of each other, so hey, who am I? Would you guys enjoy that? Gus Hansen versus Patrick Antonius? We know Brent Hanks has the connections. He can make it happen. DM us on Twitter. We'll get you set up with the 000. subscription. Let me come in with the raise here with only ace high, although he does have the best hand. Dwan gives it up. How many takes the pot? Helmuth certainly hasn't been scared to uh, get in there. He's had those two big three bets. He had the seven deuce, then he had the six three that we just saw. Uh, that big raise there with ace high. He hasn't been afraid to mix it up with Dwan when he hasn't had, you know, m much at all. Which is interesting given the opponent he's going against and just knowing how aggressive Tom Dwan can be. Closing in on the end of the first hour. That means the end of the free stream. Head on over to Pokego.com right now to keep watching. This match is far from Check. over. The stacks are basically tied. This could be an all-nighter. Appreciate everyone tuning in on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. By the way, whatever happens tonight on High Stakes Duel, this thing isn't over yet because no one can cash out whoever wins tonight. So we're going to see the 800K match for the very first time on High Stakes Duel after Helmut uh, swept both Negrano and Esfandiari. Don't forget, guys, you can head over to PokerGo.com to continue watching once this free preview ends. Use the code HSD3R3. Pick up a new annual sub. Using that code, we will give you $20 off. Cool. All right, our next giveaway is going to be for the signed photo. For the people who are wondering why pay, well, this stuff is not free to make. It's expensive, and we love doing it. Got to pay those bills, though. What is free huh. is our commentary. That's true. And our time that we're giving up for you guys. We actually probably owe these people money for our No, commentary. they owe us money. Come okay. on. Okay. That's okay. how this works. Okay. By the way, if you just want to watch highlights, that's also totally fine. However, then you can watch this action for free because we're about to call it a night on this free stream but if you subscribe to our YouTube channel I will promise you that we will deliver I'm some more highlights curious. from this show in the next few days I thought you had exactly a five I had point nine trips beat green high all right yeah. time for our final <laughs> giveaway the <laughs> signed uh, photo like of five. Phil Helmut and Tom Dwan we're just going to go back to basic again. After watching this whole hour, who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be Dwan? Is it going to be Helmuth? Let us know right now in the chat. We'll give away that signed photo by Dwan and Helmuth. We'll send it to you. Dwan or Helmuth, who's going to win tonight for the signed photo by Helmuth and Dwan? And if you win it, and sure. if we send it over to you, we, we want to get a selfie or at least a photo of where it's hanging. Because that's a pretty cool gift. That is a pretty cool gift. Check. Check. Three sevens for Helmuth here. It's a big hand. Unfortunately, not not much for Dwan. All the guesses are coming in. Check. Feel getting trappy. Oh! It's working. Dwan stepping into it. Mm 
You know, although although this is viewed as Dwan stepping into this trap, I mean, the only way that Six he can win this hand Six is by betting. Seven. Yep. Helmuth comes in with the check raise. That should do it. Three bet one time. Cool. Dwan kicks it in, and it's time for me to give away that signed photo by both Phil Helmuth and Tom Dwan. The photo is, by the way, of Helmut and Dwan. It's not a photo of me and Donnie. That'd be re really weird. <laughs> hey, Phil, can you sign this? Uh, <laughs> sign, sign this photo of Remco and I. It's actually a napkin <laughs> that he si that they signed. No, it's a photo of Phil and Tom signed by Phil and Tom. By the way, follow us on Twitter at Remco Rinkema. That is my name, and at Donnie underscore Peters. If you want more from us over the next few months. By the way, Poker Cup is about to start, kicking off next week. First stream, I believe, on Wednesday. Yes, I believe that is right. It'll be eight tournaments. Streaming every single day on PokerGo.com. It's going to be oh. great high-stakes action. Okay. Buy and start at 10K. Go all the way up to 100K, I believe. Defending champ is Remco? Daniel Negron, Real Kit Poker. He's had, uh, he's had some time off. He shared on social media that he was taking some time off, but then he, then sh then he shared that he's returning to defend his title yeah, I of think Poker World Cup champion. I think it's because I forced him into chess retirement after beating him three games in a row. I, listen, I witnessed it. <laughs> we are live for those who are questioning the action. Tom Dwan and Phil Hummings battling it out, of course. Back, back to even chip stacks here. Just on a little bit of a delay because of the integrity of the game. But the action continues unless it ends on this hand on Poker Go. I'm, do I'm doing the giveaway after this hand. So Ace King versus ten nine. Let's let's have a look. The three bet size from Helmuth here. Lots of Dwan. Like Both literally eighty percent Dwan in the chat right now. Twelve thousand six hundred. That is a massive three bet. Off the yeah, open. That, that's that's been his sizing so far. He did that with the with the seven deuce with the six three. I mean, I can't necessarily blame him having to play out of position against a player as good as Tom Dwan. You know, you make it a little bit bigger. All right, drawing the name right now. The winner is Luis Anzures. Luis Anzures, A-N-Z-U-R-E-S. Luis Anzures. You win the signed photo by Dwan and Helmuth. Send us a message on Twitter, twitter.com slash pokergo. Send us a DM, DMs are open. Let us know that that's your login, Luis, and then we will send you the photo, wherever you are in the world. We'll send you the photo, the signed photo by Dwan and Helmy. That's a cool little piece of memorabilia. That is really, really cool. Appreciate everyone, by the way, also tuning in on Twitch and Facebook. I got to ask for more budget next time and give away some stuff on those websites. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's great to give it away. You Absolutely. Know. <laughs> Lawrence Wiley says that is my name. That isn't my name. Yeah, sorry, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> do do appreciate your comments though. King six here for Dwan as we're closing in on the end of the show here. Check. Check. Helmuth hasn't gotten too crazy with his food. Like he had, you know, kind of early on, got into the brain field, got into I think a burger, and that's really been it. Well, it's uh, 6 p.m. Las Vegas time right now, so we're approaching dinner time. I think that Helmuth probably has another sandwich or some kind of meal hiding there Check. on the table Start. next to the Sour Patch Kids. Jack Frost is really bitter in the chat. Interesting Sorry. turn card here. Giving Dwan a flush. Adding a double gutter for Helmuth. One coming with the bet. In order to chat on YouTube, you have to be a subscriber. For those who are wondering if they might not be able to chat on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is free. Daily new clips. Well, how many reaching? And tosses it into the muck. This one goes to Dwan, who gets it to dead even, Donnie. We've played an hour, and it's dead even. And we've gotten nowhere. 
Wow. Maybe maybe Phil was, you know, earlier Phil was like, just come in, tune back into level 10 or whatever the heck he was saying. <laughs> and he wasn't lying. Maybe he was right. Uh, level 3 getting underway, which means that it's time for us to sign off. Uh, thanks, everyone, so much for tuning in. This is the end of the show. Use promo code HSDYT26 to sign up for your annual subscription. If you don't want the annual subscription, we also have monthly and quarterly subs for Poker Go. The Poker Go action continues on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch next week with the Poker Go Cup. We're going to have Daniel Legrano's title defense. It's going to be spectacular eight straight events starting on Wednesday. Don't miss the action. Subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, whatever you want to do. We will keep you up to date on all the latest. For now, his name is Donnie Peters. Follow him on Twitter at Donnie underscore Peters. Follow me on Twitter at Remco Rinkema. That is a tough foreign name, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out. For those that won a giveaway tonight, please reach out to us on Twitter, twitter.com slash BocaGo. I have names of all the people that won. Don't try to trick me. We'll figure it out. For now, though, sending you guys over to PokerGo to keep watching. Ali Najad and Mr. Phil Galfond on the call, professional commentators, taking you home tonight to see who will win this $400,000 match between Tom Dwan and Phil Helmut. Signing off for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next week for the PokerGo Cup.